Well, welcome to Tuesday Update. Hey, we had a really special weekend here uh, this past weekend. We had our confirmation, 56 students, and then we had five adults as well. And I'm really great, grateful to all those who helped them, prepare them to get to this point. Uh, a lot of volunteers, a lot of staff, thank you very much for your efforts. Um, and again, if you're uh, a high school student or a parent of a high school student and, and you're not in our confirmation program, give, give, give Josh Kay a call. Get a hold of him and we'll see what we can do to get them in that program. Or if you're an adult that never got confirmed, you know, you got baptized Catholic, never got confirmed, you know, give me a shout and we'll get you in our program next year so we can get you confirmed as well, okay? Hey, we also had a really, really nice uh, event after the 10 o'clock mass this past weekend. We had our scavenger hunt, we had about 100 children. It was just the whole idea of getting them familiar with the church, learn a little bit about the church, go around to different stations. They had a lot of fun. They had some fun facts they learned. They went to the organ. They went to the sacristy, to the Stations of the Cross, the youth room, the chapel, the candle stand, and the baptismal font. And they got a little prize at the end. So good way to get our kids a little bit familiar with the, uh, with the church. Hey, I'm standing here in the atrium. And off to my shoulder here, you'll see this is going to be our new entrance to the parish offices, okay? So uh, Carm and Heidi, our, our secretaries, they're going to be moving down here tomorrow. And this will be the access. So we're going to, we're going to close off the, remember the circle, the parish circle? That's the normal way you come into the offices. We're going to lock that up for security of our, of our school. And so you're going to come in here. And you can see behind me here, you know, Heidi or, or Carm will probably see you. If they don't, all you got to do is come over here and just press this little button and they'll do the release on the, on the door to allow you to come in because this door is locked, you know, again, for the security of our school. So this will be the new entrance starting tomorrow. And the, the, you'll see that out there by the circle, that entrance is going to be closed and locked during the, during the school day, okay? So no entrance through there. Thanks for your, for your patience. This is, this is kind of our second phase of our capital campaign project. Remember, of course, the, the, the new Parish Life Center is the main part of it, but we're also putting some, some new carpeting. We're arranging some offices here. We're working on the parish hall. The, that's 30 years old, kind of give that um, uh, just some updating. And so we're, we're working away on that. And thanks for your patience. You're going to see some different offices, people in different places than you're used to, but that's all part of the process. So I always appreciate your patience as we make these changes. Hey, our winner's night out this past Saturday night, great success, a lot of fun, a lot of good buzz, and good energy at Wolford's Roost. Um, it was, it was a really, really good. We had a chance to honor uh, Steve Curtis as well as Jerry and Diane Ferenzo. And uh, it, was, it was just a lot of fun that night. And so I'm grateful to both our school parents and our parishioners who came out to, to support this and support our school. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, Holy Thursday is a week from this Thursday. One of the traditions here at St. Pius is to have a little potluck dinner after that, th that 5.30 Mass on Holy Thursday. And so you can go onto the website to sign up for that. Or this weekend, after all the Masses out here in the atrium, there's going to be a, a table in which you can sign up for that. It just helps us to know the numbers so we know how much to set up and how much, uh, how many things we have to order, that sort of thing. So that'll take place after all the Masses this weekend. Stations of the Cross, this Friday, 7 p.m., 7 p.m. Palm Sunday is this coming weekend. I uh, invite you, of course, to come and get your palm. It's a normal schedule, uh, the normal weekend schedule, the 5, 8, 10, and 12. We've got a really useful thing on the website. I, we refer to it as Holy Week, what to expect. And it goes through a little explanation of all the Holy Week uh, events, Holy Thursday, Stations Across on Good Friday, Good Friday Passion, Easter Saturday, Easter Sunday, an explanation of what are they, um, how long does each liturgy take, how full is the church so you have a feel for how early you need to get here to get a seat. And so I think you'll find the information to be quite uh, useful. That's on our website. It's what to expect for Holy Week. Um, ushers. Uh, if you can help us with any of our Holy Week uh, services, we'd appreciate it. Inside the church, here on the atrium side, the chapel side, on the doors, there's sign-ups for uh, our Holy Week uh, liturgies. If you could help us, or Jim Kitts, reach out to Jim, he'll, he'll, get, you, he'll get you a slot of us. Our ushers are really critical to the success of our Holy Week liturgies. So thank you very much for your help. This weekend, second collection, we're going to do our collection for the Easter flowers. Huh? We're going to have our church looking beautiful here in a week and a half. So uh, we, we do a second collection for that. Little thought for the week. Revenge gets us even with our enemy. 
Forgiveness puts us above them. So revenge gets us even with our enemy. Forgiveness puts us above them. So looking forward to seeing you this weekend. It's Palm Sunday. Um, come get your palm. We'll listen to the Lord's passion and the story of our Lord's passion. So uh, we'll see you this weekend.